I'm not even joking you. That is a real fact about Benjamin Franklin. <laughs> Yo, what did this episode go off the rails, bro? <laughs> it's mad inappropriate, bro. <laughs> I'm supposed to say shit like I'm, that. I'm here with you. Who do you think you are? I don't know. Who did you think we are? <laughs> <laughs> what a reversal. <laughs> Call Ryan Connolly. Your call has been forwarded to voicemail. Connolly! Connolly is Brushwood! This episode of The Modern Rogue is brought to you by Squarespace. Head on over to squarespace.com slash rogue. Spell it right. R-O-G-U-E. Give it a free trial. When you fall in love, you can sign up for 10% off using promo code ROGUE. Ryan Connolly! Annalisa, Gerald, every so often I have an epiphany and I realize oh, a modern rogue would never blank or would always blank. Mm -hmm. And I realized, as I was out with my buddy Justin, a modern rogue should always tip using cash mm. so that it's their opportunity to engage in a little bit of mild tax fraud when they decide <laughs> how much or how little to report of their tips, right? So number one, you should always tip, tip very well. What would an even cooler modern rogue do? And I realized they wouldn't just, you know, blah, blah, here's a crumbled bill or whatever. <laughs> they would do like some kind of cool crane or a little Eiffel Tower or something. So I tasked Annalisa to learn how to fold bills in cool ways so we can give awesome roguish tips. Annalisa, mm -hmm. well, what first, did you find? First of all, you crumple up the bill like this and you throw it at the person <laughs> God damn. as you walk away. <laughs> Here's a tip. <laughs> tip. Here you go. <laughs> Boom, <dang. laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> Maybe this is a rejection of your whole lesson. <laughs> We don't have bodegas here in Texas. <laughs> Although I wish we did because bodega cat. Bodega cat. There you go. There you go. No, we're going to do something a little cuter than a crumpled up piece of paper. Uh, how, how, how do you feel about fishes and sailboats? Mm. Which one is which? That <laughs> makes me very sad, Brian. I don't know. <laughs> I guess it looks way different when you set it up three dimensionally. Yeah. This is a super cute thing to do with cash, but if you would like whoever you're tipping to appreciate and use the money, I highly recommend you do your art with a $1 bill and then give them the actual tip along with it. Some people think this stuff is too cute to take apart. They want something that they can actually spend yeah. that's not a pain in the butt. Okay, let's make some tips, people. <laughs> oh, yo. Yo! Yeah. All right, here you go. Here, have, some, have some money. There oh, go. thank you. God bless you. Pick a bill that is not uh, folded up already. Okay, all right. Preferably not torn, because when you're working with real money, that'll actually make it really hard to get the little creases right. Okay. Start with the back of it up facing okay. you. Unfortunately, these probably aren't going to be as cool as the $1 bills, because a lot of the tutorials are constructed so that, like, the markings on the dollar bill become, like, eyeballs or something. Or the face is exactly the right. Faces. Yeah. yeah. Or, or like, one side is a different color than the other. Yeah. And, yeah. So the first thing that you do is fold it in half from left to right with the back side up. This is hamburger, not hot dog? This is hamburger. And as I understand it, when it comes to origami, you want every fold to be as precise as you can, right? Yes. And then you want it, you, you want to what? Uh, make sure that you get a precise line on yes. there? Crease. Crease. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. if you have fingernails, use your fingernails. If you're the type to carry coins, you can use the coin. We're using paper, which will be a little bit different because mm -hmm. actual money is made of linen, yes. among other things. Yeah. Yes. All right. And a lot of the folds in the actual paper money ones are uh, sort of reliant on the linen being stiff at a certain point. Okay. Open it back up, and just if you're not familiar with origami, there is a lot of open it back up. You're looking at your bill so that it looks correct to you. The, mm -hmm. the little steeple is pointing outward. Mm -hmm. uh, and you take the two top corners and you fold them down into the inside uh, so that you make a little corner square here. We're, we're, you make it square. We're doing like a perfect you line airplane. Up. A lot of these start off looking like airplanes. Okay, all right. Yeah. So you want them perfectly arranged. It's actually more fun to start not knowing which one of the two we're making. Yeah, I don't know what we're making. Turn it to it on its side so that it's pointing to your left. Okay, so you're looking at the, uh, the flappy doodles. The flappy doodles are towards you. Yeah, and it's an arrow going over your left shoulder. Yes. Okay. The tippy top little point 
fold that down so that it meets the corner of the bill where the number is. And I can already- Oh, 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 pull it right towards your heart. Pull, yes, point it to right towards your heart. Like Since we're doing 100s, we actually get a neat little effect Ooh, of the 200s mm. intersecting with okay, all right. symmetry. I'm with you. Looks we good. love the symmetry. I think I did it. And we unfold it. <laughs> oh, now we unfold it. Okay. Yeah. And flip it over. Flip the whole thing over. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that it all looks flat again. Yeah. You can't see the folds. We're going to turn it into a little square now. Yeah. By taking the corners and folding them up to. Ah, uh, kind of making a diamond here. Yeah. You remember that center that center fold that you made? That's okay. You're lining it up on that center fold. Much like using a compass yeah. back in the day, we are figuring out where the exact center is, and then we're going to take these and fold them both into that. Is that right? Not quite. This little guy yeah. points that way. What? Yeah, I know, right? Okay. But so make but it. But still, but still, this crease yeah. that we folded and unfolded—that's your new guideline. That is that is my indicator of what the middle is. Got mm -hmm. it. If I fold all the way into that line, it goes farther. Is that okay? Wait, that's what you're doing, so it must be okay. Yes, there is a little a little yeah. hanging off you point, a little. And then we do the same thing on this side. Yeah. Okay. So when you're done, it looks like a little square. Oh, I see. And the more you do this, the easier it'll be to get everything to line up properly. Like, I I don't really sweat it that much. If it's a tip, it's going to be crumpled up and thrown at somebody in a bodega. <laughs> is what's going to happen. <laughs> do you see how there's a little exposed corner? Now we point that to the right. There's one that is a foldy any towards B col corner, and uh -huh. the other that is flippy flaps on the outside corner. Yes. The foldy any towards B corner, I want faced to the right. Yeah. So. This is only going to land for a couple of people, but if you know what a parrotfish looks like, your parrotfish faces to the right. She just got <laughs> real advanced, bro. No, I was... Uh, <laughs> what is a parrotfish? <laughs> All right, it's on the right. It's on okay. the right. So now, uh, yet again, we unfold the guy. Okay. Everything? Nope, just the one. So Ben Franklin's face is exposed. Just... Okay. That's who that is, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, he is... wasn't a president, so, like, I don't really care. Um... <laughs> Whatever. It's only been my favorite founding father since I was born. We Aww. have the same birthday, but don't, you know, no I'm biggie. I'm sorry. We have this little hangy, flappy doodle guy. Okay. We're going to fold it up again. So. Oh, man. Take the point that should be kind of like hanging up on its own. Oh, I see. And you bring it down okay, to I'm where, back. you to the little point over where here. Where it's kissing the, the other side. Yes. Yeah, I'm back. okay. All right. My back? We're back, to the, so. we're back so. to the beak of the parrotfish. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if this is right. You can let it come up a little bit because okay. we're going to fold a like part of it. Wait oh. a minute, wait a minute. I have a previous fold here. I know. Am I doing like an S fold where I fold it in and then I fold the S fold out? Yeah, n yes. Number one student here. Yeah. Oh, wait, I guess you cut it. All right. All right, I'm okay still. Mine's going to look weird. All right, so now we're, we're going to fold him back on that. So like we're hiding his face again. Hiding we're, his face uh, and shame. Uh, uh, back to one. We're going back to the square. Yeah, don't, but it won't be a don't full unfold square. your little Z thingamabobber, yeah, your, little, uh, your little S fold. Just same fold over again, keep, cover oh up his man. face. Yeah, keep, keep the S alive so we're back to a square. Mine's all yeah. wonky, like my life. No, oh. no, 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 no. I, I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it. Mm -hmm. Okay. You got it? I okay. think I got it, yeah. Right? We're pretty much. I think that's okay. close, close enough. All yep. right, all right sure. next. Let's go next level. All right, so now we're going to take the beak of the parrotfish. Oh, the beak of the parrotfish, that's and that fold it wonky part. right on up. There's a when you're doing this with real money, it's a lot harder to do this fold if you do it wrong. So it kind of forces you to do it right. Mm, okay, fold that okay, part but, down. But, but basically, we're just folding it along the edges that are there, right? Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then we can flip it over again. I do like the fact that all of ours just says. It's a copy. <laughs> <laughs> it is a copy. <laughs> it doesn't have a pre-fold on this part. Yes. But you see how we have a sort of a really wonky little diamond here? Uh-huh, uh-huh. We take the flat sides and fold them onto each oh. other. Oh. And we want them even, right? Yeah, you want to try to make them even. Oh, mine is kind of a sailboatish looking thing. Hey. Too bad we're making a that? fish. <laughs> Just Mine that does part. look like hers. So, so now you can see, look, now he's looking at you okay. with his beady but Ben Franklin eyes. But now turn upside down, it's like a boat. Then you have a boat. Uh, Wait a minute. Brian, your boat capsized. Oh, 
Wait, when you flip it Hold upside on. down. Hold on, where's your little flippy do? Did you? Oh, uh, your boat has a point. Where's your flippy do? Mine? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right there. Up. Okay. There's, a, it, the, is, there's a little flippy do down here. Yeah, mine's. Is, it, is this, did, did we do it? You did it. Okay. And if you did it right, it'll actually stand up. And then maybe you triangle oh, you it like that. Up. Then now you got a boat. Oh, oh man, mine just died. Okay, all right, all right, here. Let's make a regatta. Somebody's going to be very, very happy with their tip until they find out. It's a copy. That it's an advertisement for like a law investment firm. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's it. Yes! Ryan Connolly! Have, have you... Sorry. How have you been, buddy? It's been a minute. No, 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 no. There's just, I have teenagers now. So, hello? I wanted to tell you about Squarespace. I'm sorry, you go first. Squarespace.com slash rogue. You can sign up for a free trial. Award-winning designs. They get your message out loud, live, and independent from a street corner to global domination. Hello? They have award-winning design. You want to make a website? You want to register a domain? You want to have e-commerce? You want to have an email list? All of that is at squarespace.com slash rogue. I don't know that other URL. Slash rogue. Get 10% off. Use promo code rogue. Uh, also, it has been a minute since we've chatted. I, I have another daughter. Love you. I think we may have a connection issue. That's, yeah, no, 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 that's, uh, uh, I'm gonna get closer to the tower. Modern Rogue is supported in part by viewers like you at patreon.com slash modern rogue. In the description, you can find all of our credits and additional ways to support the show. I thought it was pretty funny to have a giant leather bag filled with $1 coins because I wanted to pretend right. I was in Game of Thrones time, <laughs> and then it's like, whenever I was done with my drink, I would just grab a fistful and go, Gring, and then walk off. I mean, Turns out, nobody liked that but me. I was gonna say, <laughs> they probably didn't like that. It's, Even though they got more money, right. yeah, you wanna make it convenient. It's been a while since I worked at a cash register, but when I did, I definitely had to teach some of my younger coworkers that those gold coins are not from Chuck E. Cheese. That is real money. <laughs> if you ever go buy...